Oh, I mean, celebrities will continue to do their job. Like I said, the loss is on the FDA. Because you see, this thing that you're fighting, you've, I've given examples where it shows clearly that the FDA is already not winning this battle. You understand me? Celebrities are reasonable human beings. Popular people are reasonable human beings. Sit with them and let us find common ground. Because events are happening. Yeah, that job hot. Assembly Diloto. Hey! Aye! Hey! When you come to Ghana, it is another sad day in the lives of Ghanaian celebrities as the Supreme Court, that is the higher or the highest judi judicial body of the land, has now enforced or uphold or upheld the ban that the Food and Drugs Authority put on celebrities or quote and unquote popular people for them not to advertise alcoholic beverages in the system. So reading from um my door online says celebrities cannot promote alcohol drinks. Supreme Court accords FDA ban. The Supreme Court has, by majority decision, appealed the Food and Drugs Authority directive, which prevents celebrities from endorsing alcoholic drinks. The, this brings an end to a highly publicized 19 month legal suit filed against the authority by CEO of Black. Culture music Magdalene Tinosai delivering an abridged version of the ruling at the apex of at the apex court on Wednesday, June 19. Chief Justice Gertrude Tokono said the FDA's directive does not contravene the constitution. This means that well known personalities or professionals are perpetually banned from appearing in advertisements that promote alcoholic beverages on the day this landmark ruling was given only one well-known personality in showbiz industry George Quay, showed up in court the full ruling is expected to be made public on friday june 21 speaking to reporters after the ruling director of legal and corporate affairs for the food and drugs authority joseph benny welcomed the ruling and said the authority will take steps to prevent well-known personalities and professionals from circumventing the order. An angry representative of the plaintiff with the Ghana Music Alliance, Ni Ofoliyate, left the courthouse saying they will continue with their advocacy. And so this is this is actually what is actually going on or what is happening currently at the moment, that the ban that was uh, pushed on celebrities or popular people not to... Um, advertise alcoholic beverages and stuff or not even appear in any alcoholic beverage commercial or something this is something that was challenged by mark darlington who is a music executive a Ghanaian music executive living abroad took it to the supreme court to challenge that particular ban and actually we have lost portal certain people have all added their voice to it of which i would want you to listen so you can equally share your view with this is the podcast with me, Roland Amati, live on Roland Report. If you're watching or listening for the first time, don't forget to subscribe, share your views in the comment section, and also recommend this channel to others. Share this content so others can also enjoy. I want to take bits and pieces of the commentaries from certain people, and I know moving forward, others would also join suit in whatever you think about popular people that are being banned from uh, from our advertising alcoholic beverages and stuff or what people have to say about supreme court actually upholding this particular ban in 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 existence let's go listen to what george quay had to say when we come back sammy flex is equally in the news of folia Fote is also in the news as well as man like chatawale has also added his voice to it. Stick if it is just out, any right? ordinary person reading that LPM, yeah. that makes sense. That is why even on, on, on networks, radio, television, sometimes you'd be surprised to know that LPMs are priced based on who's reading them because there is equity in voice, there's equity in brand. So it is not the same. That's brand endorsement. Oh, I mean, celebrities will continue to do their job. Like I said, the loss is on the FDA. Because you see, this thing that you're fighting, you've, I've given examples where it shows clearly that the FDA is already not winning this battle. You understand me? Celebrities are reasonable human beings. Popular people are reasonable human beings. Sit with them and let us find common ground. Because events are happening. Unless you want to throw a 
a, a, a blanket ban on alcoholic beverages doing anything at all in this country then throw it but you see now the problem is not even it's even gone beyond alcohol look go to the betting companies <laughs> and all those places you understand it is even crazier over there and you're focusing on uh, uh, the interesting thing is that the kids these days the products they're even consuming we don't even advertise them <laughs> we don't even advertise them we don't even know their names you understand so rather find a way to engage popular people and celebrities to help educate these kids don't fight them and make them feel like they have to stay home and not get jobs to do just because you want to push some laws that modern times don't even align with times have changed everybody has to change Thank you. it says that they are standing against that particular rule rule or policy because according to them it has the tendency of influencing minors into drinking alcohol and this is where my issue is this ban of preventing creatives who have been able to invest in their brands who have spent money in building names and characters that they can earn some extra money from them via advertisements using them as models this particular policy of preventing minors or protecting minors from drinking alcohol in today's 2024 it is a sad one now let me tell you why it is sad anybody who is watching me and lives with children in their house i'm sure they will admit that some of these things if we really want to address them it is not about using a celebrity to address it if we really want to handle them to have the impact that we are looking for it's not about the celebrity it is far away from that these children they have access 247 to internet unless in some cases where the internet has been restricted of course it is possible you can restrict your service provider or your data to some specific content it is possible you can do that or the devices that they are going to use you can put some restrictions on the devices that they are going to use. but once again when it comes to internet nobody is restricted to just one in one device when it comes to internet nobody is restricted to just one service or just one source of data many people have different sources many people handle different devices at a point so if you are saying that because of ch children or minors being impacted to take alcohol you are going to prevent um, 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 celebrities from advertising alcohol you are losing the fight first time we talk to them I think it came up as let's say a famous uh, musician let's say a uh, sacred or stone or anybody is after years of doing music they want to start their own let's say the, the beer company they can't do that you know there's things that we haven't really we don't really know the limitations properly so this is more or less not even to win or lose it was more or less to have clear um, indications or clear uh, what a clear picture is as to what musicians can do and cannot do when it comes to working with brands because as of now we know all the companies still sponsor shows is that possible is not possible we don't know you know whether well, will this dialogue continue? That has to continue that dialogue will definitely continue to just to get to know have a better idea of exactly what the fda wants done right. if it's simply just don't advertise for them that's fine but if you can work with them in any other capacities we want that explained that's really what this whole thing was about Oh, we will, we will have to negotiate. I mean, uh, uh, initiate because it is it is for our benefit. They don't care, so we we definitely have to like initiate that and see how how that goes. You know, a lot of celebrities are interested in this whole matter, and yeah. the outcome could you say is disappointing. Uh, the outcome of of this decision. Oh um, no! Like I said, the outcome was not to win or lose. The outcome was to have a better interpretation of what we can do and what we cannot do. And in this case, we still don't know what we can we cannot do or what we can do. So definitely, we'll definitely still go to FD and, and, and talk it out and see um, if we can have a better structure of what should be done or what can be done, what cannot be done. Um, I mean, personally, if there was a, an, a, a, a commercial advertising or advocating for kids to drink, that would not be good or seeing it in a certain way. But if we can have any other means where we can safely work with uh, the brands without really getting to the kids, 
that's also fine. So we can definitely sit down with the FDA and see how that can be done. Have moment where some of these celebrities complain about the fact that it's actually the impacting or affecting the kind of businesses they do and all that. With this outcome, what do we see the lines of? Uh, with this outcome, hopefully they actually also join the advocacy because it's like we, we complain and we don't do much about it. So hopefully this is something that we all want to have um, a positive outcome from it. So everybody should basically come together and join hands and let's see how best we can move about and move around this. Yeah. Would, would you seek a review? I have to talk to the lawyer. I have to talk to the uh, our lawyer to actually know exactly the what the, the yeah. I mean, they, they, they know best. I don't know much about legal stuff, so. He will definitely guide us. Bobby Banton will definitely guide us to what to do next. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, my name is Shaka Wale. I know most of you know me, but I like to mention my name because my name said me, said me, they sweet me. If I call my name Shaka Wale, the name they sweet me. That's why they call my name. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, young boys and young girls, it's our time that we have to know that we are grown and we are in a state where the world is running so fast and developing. And if you are not able to talk for yourself and stand up for yourself, you are going to fail in this life. This is no like insults or no like, you know, misjudging anybody. We are living in a country where people can talk. And people have taken advantage of us. Like, and just misusing everything. Please, if anybody gets this video, eh, make it send give American embassy, make it send give White House, Washington, make it send give any America like government people we they know governance because we are suffering in Africa. We are suffering. There is nobody to save us. Like the suffer with the suffer challenge. Ghana is far from the world where they develop. Ghana far from Russia. Ghana far from China. Ghana far from America. Ghana far. Ghana is far. Especially when we are talking and we don't really make people understand. And when they talk amongst ourselves, we can make it. These are some of the few samples or earlier statements coming from some of our popular people or celebrities or people who are concerned about this particular news when it came off. I don't know what you think, but you can equally share your views in the comment section. For me, if you ask me, I think that the band here, to me, I've always maintained the stance that it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all because, because if we are, we are looking for ways and means to to curtail or minimize the effect of some of these things on society or as minors as they would call it. There are lots of dangers and even the celebrities, banning celebrities or the celebrity influence is just a portion of it. And I am asking myself, okay, how do you prevent all these advertisements of alcoholic beverages in your space? How do you prevent them? Because as far as we are concerned, people have phones, people have internet, people watch TV. And it is not only about our local television stations, but other foreign channels who advertise these things with celebrities at their fingertips. And these celebrities are even have even huge following than the people we have here. So what kind of uh, mentality are they going to do this with? Well, let me hear from you this. It's Roland Report. If this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this content with others so they can equally enjoy. And I think I need to do a proper editorial on this particular topic. But then these are just a few samples and reactions when this particular verdict or this particular judgment came from the Supreme Court. And so then, don't forget to stay safe. I'll meet you in the next episode. Peace. I'm out of here. Yeah, my dad, job hot. Hey! Aye, yeah. hey.